how can you quickly document that you did a good review of the users in your system and you've removed the ones who needed to be removed? Hi everyone, this is Kim Lay with A2Q2 and today I'm going to share some tips and a template to make it much easier for you to do your review. We'll do some examples as well. So in this Excel template that I'm going to share, you'll see there are three tabs below. The first tab is going to be your review information. This is your sign-off sheet, and you can now copy it, replicate it every time you do the review. You don't have to retype it. The second tab is actually for the data. When you do the export, you can save it. So in this case, it's a blank Excel that you can just paste. This is the information. And finally, there's going to be where you save your screenshots. So let me give you tips on how to do the best screenshots to eliminate having to redo it, your, your work. So an example is to make sure, in this case, this is an Oracle report. It's a in the cloud. So when you do your screenshots, make sure that you include the address, the URL address, to prove to the external auditor or any type of reviewer that this came from it, the actual source that you didn't somehow dummy this up and put it in a sandbox. It typically will say production or something like that. You also want to capture your date parameters. So whatever date it is, whatever entity, whatever parameters or filters that you have. And very important as well at the very bottom is to make sure that you capture the date and time that you took the screenshot. That's to prove that you did your review on a particular date. It's close enough to the quarter end or it's within the period. The question auditors often ask is, how do I know you did this review timely? You didn't wait for three months later and do this review. That's why it's so important to capture it. And finally, if you are running a report that has totals, total number of users, there's a count of some sort, capture that information because that's how auditors will check that the same report that you ran on screen before it was exported, when it does get exported, the same number of rows or the total dollars have not changed. So this is one example. Let me show you an example now of doing an access review for, in this case, for your ticketing system. Again, make sure you get the screenshots, the dates here, any filters that you have, and the date at the bottom of when you did that review. And here's another example of sometimes, in this case, Okta, if your computer setup is where you do not see that date at the bottom, at lower left, lower right, or you just hide it all together, here's a creative way to hit on your calendar and show that this is the date and time, and now it's next to the screenshot that you've taken. Another example is when you are removing users as proof that you've removed the users. This is an example of, of someone showing this is the activity log. Notice that I've removed these various users and which groups they came out of. By doing this, this will save you a lot of time. Hope this is helpful. And now that you've taken the screenshots, what can you do to sign off? And sometimes the person who ran the screenshots or ran the reports may not be the person reviewing. So in this case, I've written out easy to follow steps that apply to almost any system at all. And if it doesn't apply to you, you can put NA. In this case, we have what the control number is. So access 101, access one. You also want to put the system name and the system report. What, because imagine if you're running multiple systems as the admin, you'll want to know that, or whoever is retracing your steps, they know what you did. Then it's whoever prepared the workbook, if someone else ran the reports for you, what date they ran it. And these are the steps that you can sign off on. Check that the report date, the date ranges, the totals, any gener general information to verify that this report was complete and accurate. You ran it with the right date parameters. Have the screenshot, and that's what we talked about earlier, and then compare the total number of users. How do you know that the in information you ran on screen got exported and saved in Excel properly? If you reviewed for terminated users, if you had to remove someone, make notes, remove Jane Doe, 
you logged a ticket, JIRA 123, you verified the changes were made in the system, that your, the changes you submitted were made, and then of course, sign, signing off. In this case, the reviewer got it checked. Jack can now sign off and add a date to it. Thank you so much for your time and hope this helps you. Bye-bye.